Hello, my name is Sujata Datta. I'm one of the consultants attached to Neotia and I thought I'd talk a little bit about uh, a very common problem that uh, women of all ages face and that is heavy bleeding. In technical terms it's called menorrhagia. So there are a few things we need to discuss about it. First is what is it, why does it happen and how do we treat it. So if you're getting very heavy bleeding uh, you would get uh, lots of big clots coming out uh, during your periods. You could bleed for longer than the usual four to five days and it can be accompanied by pain because of the large clots that the uterus is trying to get rid of. Uh, also, heavy bleeding can be because of a number of um, medical problems as also primary dysmenorrhea. That means uh, if there is an intrinsic problem in the uh, wall of the uterus, it can cause heavy bleeding. Or if you've developed some tumors such as fibroids or polyps within the cavity, that can give you heavy periods. But sometimes we investigate everything and we still don't find the cause. And then we put it down to hormonal imbalance. In the older age group, this is called dysfunctional uterine bleeding, where on the ultrasound we can't pick up anything, but despite that, the patient gets all of these symptoms. Now, how we treat it is dependent on a number of factors. One would be the age you're presenting at, and the second would be whether you've had children or not. Heavy bleeding can affect all age groups. So if you're a young girl who's come to me with this sort of problem, I would probably just give you some simple tablets to take during the time of your period so that it ceases to be a problem for you, so that you can bring it down to a manageable level. Then there are others who will not settle with this simple medication. And for them, we then have to prescribe longer term medication sometimes in the form of the oral contraceptive pill, which not only has the benefit of making your periods a lot lighter, but also makes it less painful and provides the younger woman with contraceptive uh, benefits as well. So it's actually uh, a very good medicine, although um, there are lots of myths surrounding it and people are sometimes um, worried about taking it. The third sort of um, intervention that we have to do, again in slightly older women or women who already had children, is a local treatment. Now, we have to first check whether there's any problem inside the uterus. So we put a little camera inside and we can have a look at the inside of the uterus to see if there's any polyp that needs to be removed. And if not, we then do a little scrape to take out the unhealthy lining and we send it off for a biopsy to make sure there are no precancerous changes. After which we can then insert um, a little coil called the Mirena coil, which has all the hormone, it has hormones inserted in it. And that actually keeps the lining of the womb thin so that you don't have this irregular heavy bleeding for the next five years. But after five years, this needs to be replaced and it also provides you with contraceptive cover. If you go to older women still, or people who've got other problems that are picked up on ultrasound, such as large fibroids or big polyps that can't be um, taken out with just a DNC, then sometimes we have to resort to uh, a slightly more intervention, a, a more invasive um, intervention, but something that has a very good success rate and that is called a hysterectomy, where we actually take the uterus out. In the olden days, it used to be a major procedure and uh, it had a longer recovery time of about six weeks or so. But with the modern technique, it's all become very simple now because you can do it laparoscopically, which means the recovery time is very quick. You can go home in two to three days at most and get back to work within two weeks. There is less pain, there's less bleeding, there's less requirement for analgesia. And because it's done laparoscopically by keyhole surgery, the cosmetic results are very good and there's no big scar on the tummy. So this is the entire repertoire which uh, covers the various modalities of treatment that are required for heavy bleeding or menorrhagia. And 
one does not fit all, but we will certainly find some sort of treatment for you and tailor it to your individual needs.